It's time now for US News with the Queen of American Showbiz Royal and political reporting Kinsey Schofield. Kinsey, the story about Israel has rather squeezed this slot, so I'll crack straight on with it. Um, a rather happy photo of Harry and Meghan loved up in Miami. Uh, this seems to be the romance that won't die. Yeah, Harry and Meghan were seen on Friday at the Royal Salute Polo Challenge at the Grand Champion Polo Club in Wellington. It's been previously reported that Meghan hired Adele stylist to work on her new look. And I think that was on clear display this week in Florida. Uh, but yeah, they, they are... There were Netflix cameras in tow. These are two individuals that um, are continuing to pursue the entertainment world. Uh, I think basically, essentially, through more reality television. Megan is going to give us a new TV show about gardening and friendship and entertainment, while Prince Harry is doing a new polo-themed show. Uh, and I think after weeks of will they, won't they reconciliation debates spurred by multiple cancer revelations, mm. the announcement of these two the new reality shows have solidified in my mind that there is no chance for a reconciliation between Prince Harry and his brother anytime soon. Prince William does not want to be a part of reality TV or jeopardize mm. his family's privacy. However, you could argue with the announcement of these two Netflix shows that Harry and Meghan are proving their critics wrong. The fact that they were dumped by Spotify was well reported, but it seems that as producers, they're still in demand, at least on Netflix. They're in demand because Netflix wants what they had, their first and only commercial success, which is Harry and Meghan. They're mm. not behind the scenes like they told us they were going to be going forward. This is reality television. This is watching yeah. Meghan Markle in the kitchen. This is watching Meghan Markle garden. This is watching Harry at a polo event. This is reality TV. So I don't think they're proving their critics wrong. I think that Netflix is showing us they want a very specific take from Harry and Meghan, and it's what we're getting. It's them in front of the cameras. What did you make of that photograph? For me, it's the royal picture of the day, the embrace at the polo. It reminds me of Diana and Charles at the polo back in the day. Is this a real love story? Do you think that they're still hot for each other? I'm sure they're still hot for each other. I, I think that Megan looked beautiful, but I also think um, that you see what ultimate, these reality shows are not just a way for Harry and Megan to make money. They have to change perception. Mm. Uh, people are, they're not very likable in the States. Uh, and I know they're not very likable in the UK. This is a tool that they're using to change people's perception of them. And that kiss to me is a very choreographed photo that is beautiful, but seems like it, there's an ulterior motive there. Can we talk about the couple's political ambitions? Archwell, their non-profit organisation, is going to be tackling election misinformation. Are Harry and Meghan really the arbiters of truth? Yes, sir. They've partnered with anti-Trumper Miles Taylor of the future us to help voters against disinformation. Um, and one of the things that they're focused on is sh making sure Americans can decipher what's real and what is like deep fake. What is AI generated? Uh, my argument would be Prince Harry literally sat on a phone call with somebody he thought was Greta Thunberg for half an hour discussing American politics <laughs> and his exit from the British royal family. They were act actually Russian pranksters that streamed on YouTube, not necessarily who I go to for my disinformation uh, guide. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, listen, Kinsey, I wish we had longer, but we've got to tackle this Israel story. We'll see you in a week's time.